Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ. Yesiah the Messiah. Yesiah of Nazareth. Hallelujah. If you want to know why I call God a higher and the Bible called Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. You can watch it in the pink comment section. Quick housekeeping. Remember, brothers and sisters, oh, what am I doing? Let me go back. I think the other video did the greet the brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Greetings, greetings, greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yah Shael all over the world. I greet you all in the matchless name of Yesiah. Hallelujah. Jacob's name was changed to Yah Shael. A lot of people said it was changed to Israel. That's not true. That's not the name of Jacob. Change name is Yah. Sha'el, E-L, Yesha'el, hallelujah. And I greet the beautiful body of the Messiah, hallelujah, the Messiah and the church. I greet you all in the precious name of the soon coming king. Okay, quick housekeeping. Remember, brothers and sisters, um, whenever I make a comment, my name, Sister Carrie, it is in solid gray border. Anybody else pretending to be me, you know what time it is and you know what to do. Rebuke and report event okay on this channel brothers and sisters i do the top 20 it's a privilege to call out the top 20 brothers and sisters name and the brothers and sisters that make it in the first top 20 on any video i'll give you a shout out i call your name out but it's not only for that it's you know it's to build the spirit man teaching you to be observant watchful waitful uh, um vigilant sober you know looking forward to the returning of the beautiful messiah because when all is said and done Messiah is coming back hallelujah so these are the top 20 brothers and sisters underneath a very powerful video uh called we can't be fooled all right uh very very powerful video it, ta it really talks about how these people the dirty caesars quickly Get, they're getting rid of all these mandates and restrictions and stuff so that the crane people can come through. <laughs> it's deep. What the Lord showed me. Oh, okay, let me not use for track. Okay, so these are the top 20 brothers and sisters underneath that video. Shannon Fisher, Blue Lily, Edna Gaisi, Pink Light, Set Apart for His Glory. Hallelujah. Ma Mahula Buder Butter. Emma Scarlet. Adiola Sings. Eve New Beginning. Tashanda Taylor. All Things Made New. Ya Daughter. Viv okay. Viva Bella Viva Hermano. Okay. Valerie Jarrett. Esther. Jean, Namuanje Shivan, Janika Buckley, Sharda Mackenzie, and True Diligence. Hallelujah. Top 20. Remember to like the videos, subscribe, like, subscribe, watch, comment, and all those good stuff to help reach. It really help the reach of the videos, okay? To other people who don't know about the end times. All right, we are near. What are we near to? We're not only near to the return of the Messiah, but we're also near to the uh, the revealing of the dirty Antichrist. He's coming on the scene very, very soon, brothers and sisters. Take heed of all these wars, war going on all over the place, all right? Okay, we're near to that. And we're not only near to that, but we're also near to the new, um, to the lawlessness of sin. The lawlessness of sin is a new world that Satan is creating. Okay, we also have a prophetic theme song. Our prophetic theme song is also called We Are Near. So the banner, the theme banner is called We Are Near. And the prophetic theme song is called We Are Near. It's a song that my mommy teach me when I was a little girl. She was like, sweeties, I want a view. And when we're near to it, she used to sing the song We Are Near. And it goes like this. Oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now you are, oh, now, hallelujah. Yes, we are near and we can sing that song with confidence hallelujah okay there's a few things i want to talk about brothers and sisters which one should i talk about glory 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 to your name lord um mm, let's talk about i miss spirit really i don't even know 
Okay, let's 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 do this. <laughs> I don't even know which one. The all important, the all important what I want to say in the prophetic. All right, let's do the education, and uh, let's talk about Prince William and Kate. Um, cruising, not on the ship. I'm talking, but flaunting themselves in the Caribbean. Let's talk about that because this, this this is prophetic and this is this is waking up people. All right, um, Prince William and his wife Kate are on a trip to the Caribbean. They're visiting three Caribbean islands. Belize. Belize is a beautiful Caribbean island with indigenous people. The India, the Indians. Is Belize majority of them on the island? That beautiful, beautiful island. It's um, they're in the, the indigenous, the Indians. All right. So, good old Prince William and his wife. I'll talk about Belize in a bit. <laughs> oh Lord, yeah. The visit in Belize, and then I think they're gonna move to Barbados. You no know, Barbados. And then they're going to move to the good old Jamaica. All right. So those three Caribbean islands they're moving to. And the reason why they're going there is because they want to convince the people to keep Queen Elizabeth as head of state. That's what they want to do. Terrible, isn't it? After all these things. But anyways, let's talk with Belize. Because I was laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, Lord. You need to research it yourself, brothers and sisters. Just Google Belize and Prince William. And you see what happened. Listen. So, apparently now, they landed in Belize. Alright? Kate, Prince, Prince William and Kate landed in Belize. And took a helicopter. Watch this. I want you to listen to me very carefully. Because the Lord is showing you history and this is nothing for people to get upset about and oh she loves to talk about stuff no if you don't know the truth then you will not understand people and this is like history repeated itself so what prince william and his wife did right when they landed in belize they took a helicopter and landed on a particular place which is very indigenous which is very respectful to the to these people and they landed did they, did they i think they landed actually they landed on the or they were about to land <laughs> on the on the football pitch for these people and the people had placards banners all sort protesting get off our land absolutely amazing oh belize if i could see you guys i would lift you up wonderful wonderful belize one big massive black card um saying prince william get off our land the people are upset number one because they didn't ask the chief for that little land that they could land there they just invaded and this is what they did this is this is what britain does they go around people's country and invade but not this time our people are waking up. The Eurocentric power that these people have, it is ending. It is coming to an end. It's not getting better. This is what people have to realize. So these people are literally clinging on whatever power, so-called power, that they have. And I was really taken back for these people. And they really came out and they stood up and they said, no, Prince William, get off our land and you know what happened that trip or you know to tour Belize to beg the people to let the queen be the head of the nation is over like that trip they're not but they're gonna go to Belize to Belize <laughs> Belize I'm open I'm 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 pronouncing it right Belize um show them what's what and that is so beautiful and that is so refreshing because you don't have these black nations standing up for themselves. Like, hardly, you know. 
So it will really refresh it because they don't need to be there. The queen, well, I know what happened to her already, but the so-called queen that they've got over there, over here in UK, so she's still alive, but anyways, um, she don't need to be the head of nobody's nation. Why? Why? Because at the ending of the day, let's just say she's, she's dead. Queen is dead, all right? And she was the head of Belize. Who you think is going to take over? All right, yeah, Prince William. So he's going to become the head of Belize. And if Prince William, no, sorry, Queen dies. And when she dies, before she dies, she's the head of Belize. So now she's dead, Prince Charles take over. He is the head of Belize. Prince Charles passed away. Prince William is ahead. So it's like a general, and then it goes on to the, and it's never ending for us. These people will always rule over, I would say no. So the Belizeans, oh, for, for, uh, the, the called Belizeans, but I gave them that name. The Belizeans, all right, um, stood the ground and they said no. And it's so, it's so beautiful. You see the big massive placard, Prince William, get off our land. Perfect. Perfect. You don't even consult the indigenous people. You don't even say to them, look, all right, you know what? Prince William and his wife is coming and they're going to land the plane on your property. Is it okay? They didn't even say nothing to They just, as if they just invaded, as if they can just invade and just walk in. So the trip to Belize is over. Perfect. Fantastic. Now, I think they're going to go to Barbados and then to Jamaica. Let's see how that one plays out. Because I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I haven't got high hopes for Jamaica, to be honest with you, in terms of them coming out and telling them to go back to England. Because people, they just, you know, forget really easy. Just last year, they kicked out elderly people out of Britain called the Wind Rush. Horrible. All these old people, just because they didn't have a British passport, all these old people going on plane, going back to the going back to Jamaica. Just deport them right, left, and center. Horrible and awful. So you don't want us in your country, but yet still you want to be the head of our country. Why? Because you want to rape the country, you want all the benefits. But let's see what the Jamaicans do. I'm hoping that they're going to protest. I'm hoping that somebody, even if it's one person <laughs> or two, will pr protest them. Let them go back. So, no, they're coming to Jamaica to, same thing, to beg to let the queen be the head of state. I think she's still the head of state. I'm not sure. Oh, God, this may stress really bad, isn't it? I think she's still the head of state in Jamaica or... I know they have the independence. But I think that the Queen has something to do with them out there anyways. Um, so that's one of the reasons why they're going. But the Queen, like what I say, it's no point. Because it's just passing down. It's passing from Queen Elizabeth to Prince Charles. Then it passed down. And all these monarch people ruling over us. Why do they need to rule over us? Are we not human beings? Can't we make our own decisions? Them days are ended. Those 400 slavery, those are ended, man. They need to move on and just leave people, let them be. And, and just integrate and, and, you know, just relax. So, I don't know what's going to happen. No, knowing all Jamaicans, some Jamaicans are, they'll just... Oh, Welcome them with open arms because apparently when I heard when the story first broke in my ear I heard the pharaohs in Jamaica is going to put on a big massive firework How much money is that going to cost and how many people in the ghetto is suffering? How much of them? How much of Jamaicans in the ghetto kids don't have any shoes to go to school? No food to eat and you're going to put on big massive firework to welcome the children of your oppressors. Because that's who they are. If you trace the monarchy history, if you, tra if you trace Britain's foreparents, 
not all of them, but majority, if you trace the four parents of them, you'll find out that every one of them are coming from the, 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 the father, forefathers, their ancestors or slave masters. So you know the history of slavery. You know the barbaric things that our people went through. So why are you entertaining the oppressor's children? I mean, it makes no sense. But, you know, like I said, I'm not holding my breath out for Jamaica because I know some of them are. They will welcome them with open arms, give them the best red carpet and everything like that. But for now, Belize, well done. That's all I can say for Belize. Barbados, I don't know what's going to happen over there either. I really don't know. I have no idea if they're going to protest and rebuke them and tell them to go back. Because like I say, I was just laughing with Belize. I mean, yeah, the, 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 the people, they did the right thing. They don't need it, brothers and sisters. William, Prince William and Kate do not need to tour the Caribbean on royal visit to beg for the queen to be head of state. That, 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 that should be cut out. Like, she doesn't need to be the head of state. She ain't going to be the head of state anyway. It's to pass down to them. They want to be the head of state. They want to be in control. They want to control black people. They want to tell black people what to do. They want to tell black people how to run their country. They want to pass the law from wicked Britain down into Jamaica. But, you know, like I say, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen when, the, when Prince William... If they do protest and what of you, then, you know, then I'll come back and I'll do a little video, but... In my spirit, I just, I can't see it. I can't, I can't see the Jamaicans rebuking and protesting. If they do, I'll be very, very surprised. If they do come out and they pro protest and say, you know, go back, we don't want you here. We don't want the queen to be the head of state. We want our independence. It's, we will see. We will see what happens. Like I said, I know I'm repeating myself. Same thing with Barbados. I don't know. I don't know what the Bayesians are going to do. I don't know if they're going to be like rolling out the red carpets and welcoming them, giving them the best. And you don't, you don't do those things. These people need to know the truth. They need to know what happened to our people and still happening. And it has, it's not like, you know, slavery happened four years, 400 years ago and it's ended. Like, okay, it was wicked. It shouldn't have happened. It was horrible or barbaric. It's like the hatred is still there. That is a thing, you know. The hatred, it, it's still there. So, yeah, it's it's a it's a tough one. It's a tough one, brothers and sisters. But you see where I'm coming from. And if you're true to yourself, the queen don't need. To, she's she's already head of state of Britain. And, you know, she don't need to be the head of state of nobody's country. Why? That is my question. Why? It's like me saying, to, me coming into, I don't know. I don't know. What's up? It's like me going over to Poland and telling them I want to be the head of state. Why, why do I want to rule over Poland, Polish people? Why do I want to rule over white people? I don't. They have their own rule. They have their own people. Let them rule each other. And same thing with black people. We have our own people. We have our own thing. We want to rule each other. We don't want anybody to rule over us. And this is what, this is the message that the royal family needs to understand. Now, if they're going to the Caribbean on a holiday, absolute, that, no, no problem. That's fine. It's a holiday. They, they can go anywhere in the world that they want to holiday absolutely absolutely but this is a royal visit like what, what's the purpose of a royal visit in the caribbean what, what 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 are you what are you planning to achieve so you want us to celebrate the queen's jubilee because that's part of the the royal visit to these three caribbean destinations belize which rebuke them kick them out the country fantastic belize i can't stop talking about it wonderful belizean wonderful um okay so um so 
you have yeah Belize, Barbados, and Jamaica. So part of the trip, apart from them begging for the queen to be head of state, it's also to do with the the the, the 70th jubilee, which I didn't even know happened over here in Babylon, UK. It's promoting the jubilee. Now, why would we want to celebrate our oppressors' jubilee? Why? <coughs> Sorry, brothers and sisters. Oh, true word. <laughs> <laughs> True word, you know, when you sneeze, it's an old tale thing, ain't it? When you sneeze or something like that, bless you or true word, they're speaking something truthful, and you sneeze, it's like whatever, you know, like sanctioning <laughs> old wives' tale, okay? But, but why, what, why do the Caribbean need to celebrate with you the Queen's Jubilee? Why? It's madness. It's, it's, it, when I really sit down and I think about this thing, it's, it's crazy. It's ludicrous. It's madness. It's like mistreating a person. All right, it's like having a dog. All right, watch this. It's like having a dog, all right? And you mistreat that dog. You throw hot water. This is a watchdog. This is a dog that watches your property, make sure that no thief comes in, look after you. you. Nice dog, but you mistreat the dog. You 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 don't really feed the dog. You give them scraps. You you beat the dog. You throw out water on them. You're horrible to this dog. But nobody knows that you're mistreating the dog. And after you've been so cruel to this dog, you ex the dog is literally sick. But still you're expecting the dog to go out there in the night and watch. To watch your house in his sick state. That is the thing with us. Mentally. Okay, we're not physically, but mentally up here. Slavery still affects a lot of us. And when you have colonial countries coming into your country and telling you to let your oppressor be the head of state, it... it it it's it hits home. It's hard. It really, really hits home. It's nothing to smile about. And it's nothing to laugh about. It's sad. Very, very, very sad. We need they need to let us go. We don't want the Queen to be the head of state. We don't want Prince William and Kate coming on no royal visit. If they're going for a holiday, that's fine. No problem. Go for your holiday, enjoy the Caribbean. But no silly royal visit for what so belize belizeans you've done your thing well done so let's see what barbados do <laughs> and let's see what jamaican do i am not holding my breath like yeah i'm not i'm not holding it we'll we'll see if they do a protest and run them and tell them we don't want the queen to be head of state and what a view then we'll see well, we will see. We don't know. We'll see what they'll do. But like I said, I'm not holding my breath because when if when the news first broke that these people are going to go to Jamaica, the first thing that they put out is that, oh, the soldiers, the soldiers will be doing fireworks at the airport. Terrible. Terrible. It's sad. Up here. Mentally. Needs healing. Lee's healing up here, so in the mind, right up here in the mind. All right, okay, brothers and sisters. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most high, Ahaya, who lives above the heavens. Ahaya eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. And yes, high is holy name, amen and amen. Let's say the benediction together. The benediction is Jude chapter 1, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to uh, so brothers and sisters, I'm just thinking about the video that I just done. Let's say that one more time. Jude chapter 1, Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Not unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless. But for the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise, yes, higher or savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.